today we're in Chicago, Illinois at the Biograph Theater, a site where a famous bank robber and gangster was gunned down by the Bureau of Investigation in 1934. I'm sorry, the city is noisy and it is the windy city so I have to wear a microphone. But I'm a huge fan of John Dillinger. I've been almost to every site. And now I'm at the infamous Biograph Theater in Chicago. Or in July of 1934, Dillinger met his end. Dillinger was here with Polly Hamilton and Anna Sage to see a movie, Manhattan Melodrama, but he didn't know that agents were swarming the street outside waiting for him and waiting for the movie to let out. Dillinger walked out of these doors and Melvin Purvis was standing right here. He lit a cigar to notify the other agents that he had made a positive ID on Dillinger. And Dillinger made his way down this street. These are the last steps that Dillinger took. Now this building on the left wasn't here, this is a new building. And Dillinger had made it right to about here and had noticed some kind of commotion behind him. He then turned and looked behind him, saw agents, and proceeded to run. Shots rang out and he dropped dead right in this spot. Now this building wasn't here back then, but the shots rang out right about the doorway. Dillinger stumbled and fell dead right here. Shot from behind three times by federal agents. I'm gonna recreate Dillinger's last steps as best as I can. He walked out of these doors right here after the movie Manhattan Melodrama had let out. He continued to walk with Polly Hamilton to his left, Anna Sage to his right, the infamous lady in red, even though she was wearing orange that night. Now somewhere in here, Melvin Purvis, the lead agent, was standing here. He lit a cigar to notify all the other agents in the area that he had made a positive ID of Dillinger. Dillinger continued to walk. I'm getting some wind on my microphone, sorry. He continued to walk these very steps that I'm taking right now. As he got to about here, he noticed that across the street, somebody was walking at the same pace, kind of looking at him. He then turned to see three handguns pointed at him. He made his break and they opened fire, taking one shot through the back of the head, out through here, the other two through the back of his chest and out. He fell dead in the alleyway. The movie Public Enemies, which is my favorite movie, was actually filmed in the exact location at the Biograph Theater here. The scene was perfectly recreated. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Got a lot more videos to go. Click like, subscribe. Thanks.